So today I want to do a comparison video that kind of goes over some of the different uh, features and of the different models of all the lasers. Uh, personally, I have a 60 watt laser and I also just added a 100 watt laser to my shop. So stay tuned. So first of all, let's start talking about the, the 60 watt that I have. This is going to be the similar cabinet style to there's a 60, 80 and 100 watt. This is the one that has the removable base. So just looking at it from high level, you know, you've got your hood, it actually has the pass through, pass through goes back to back there, um, and then your, your lower portion here. So one of the big differences between some of them, uh, there is a, a 60 watt model that has autofocus. This 60 watt does not. So I use a knob to manually raise and lower my bed. So this, just turning this lifts and lowers the bed. Um, other than that, they're, they're all pretty much the same, uh, other than the tube sizes. If you get one that has a, a bigger tube, it will actually have an extension that comes out the side of the machine. So that way it can accommodate for that larger tube. Over here on this side, you have the exhaust for the machine. And then around the back, you actually have the connections for your water lines. Um, my machine is older, and so it actually used to have the air line here before I changed my air assist. Uh, the new models actually have uh, a built-in pump that is inside the cabinet, and I believe it sits right back in here. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the 60 watt in a nutshell. Um, when you think about it, the, the differences between the 60, 80, and 100, most of it comes down to speeds you know the the faster or the more power you have the faster that you can potentially cut and potentially cut deeper cut thicker materials so that is the 60 watt model the the difference between the others is really the cabinet style and where this one has the removable base this portion right here is where it removes there are some bolts that are located inside of the cabinet that you can see there is one of them right there. <clears throat> and then there's one on each corner. So this one can get put inside. You can take the base off, you can flip it onto its back, and then it'll go through a pretty standard doorway. It's about 26, 27 inches tall when you have that base removed. Now this big boy is the 100 watt style that is the, the more square cabinet. So it as well, it has a pass through here, goes all the way through there, you know, the lid, and then it also has all the panels that you can open up. So it's here, let's go ahead and we'll close this pass through. Open this up. And you can actually see that these square models come with a uh, catch tray, which can prove problematic if you are looking to do tumblers. There are ways around it uh, to make that rotary attachment fit. But what happens is this tray comes and it bottoms out on the bed. So you're no longer able to get the bed low enough to fit a rotary underneath the, the nozzle and the head. But you can take the honeycomb out, take the knives out, and put together an assembly so that way it sits down almost basically inside, basically inside of this catch tray and you use the catch tray kind of like as a secondary bed and you're able to put the rotary in there so that way it can actually reach the nozzle and you have some more room. Um, so then as far as the setup on the 100 watt and the other machines, granted the 100 watt has a 24 inch by 40 inch cut space, um, the other ones, are smaller, like the 60 watt one that's this size, it has a 20 by 28. And then there's the 80 watt that has, I believe it's a 24 by 36. Um, and then there's also another 100 watt that has a 24 by 36. I think that's that's pretty much all, all the models out there. Um, and then there is just a lot more, more bays and doors that you're able to open because the machine gets bigger. Um, it also has two electrical cords. So on here, 
One is for the laser power and the other is for all the other components. So all the other components, we look in here and you've got all your drivers, the controller, everything going on in here. This is the, the new air pump. I have actually since disconnected it and added in my air assist system that I, I did a DIY video on. And if you wanted to, to do that as well, it's out there. Um, so that's, this is the, the, the components cabinet. The other side has the, the laser power. Um, then on here, this is the back side where now they have moved the exhaust port to. this and I have since removed the the stock fan that sits in here and I have added an inline fan to help with the exhaust flow just got more air flowing works a lot better um, but then back here you can see the motorized bed that comes with my model the the, the 100 watt um, and that helps raise and lower the bed this model does have the autofocus as well And so that will actually help drive that, that motor. So really on this side of the cabinet, since it's kind of squished over here, I'm not gonna get into it, but there's not a whole lot to see. It's really just a laser power supply that's on this side. Um, with some of these bigger models, they actually have these removable panels. Like I have to remove this one when I wanna tinker with mirror number one. And then just back here, um, I won't be able to open it a whole lot, but, There is the laser tube and just it's it's little compartment back here. Um, these don't plug anything into them. I don't trust them. Uh, the wiring, it, it just doesn't seem to be beefed up enough to really get everything that you need to. And they have been known to be problematic. So just stay away from them. So back out here, um, so one of the things that I did say is autofocus. So here is the autofocus on here. Um, the idea behind the autofocus is ultimately you click autofocus and it goes down, the plunger hits the material and then it backs off a predetermined amount. You can change that in the controller, but really it just goes down, touches the material, comes back up to where you have it set. And I think that pretty much covers it on this machine. Well, there you have it. Just a, a quick overview and comparison of the different models. So that way you can help yourself make an informed decision. Let us know if you have any questions.